talked about using the pen tool to modify existing shapes, but we did discover a limitation of the pen tool, and that was that it can either add uh, an a anchor point, it could subtract an anchor point, or it could convert an anchor point. But it fell short when we talked about moving an anchor point. So if you want to move an anchor point or adjust an existing curve, well, you need to venture into a different tool. And that tool is called the Direct Selection Tool. So if I click the Direct Selection Tool and then I click on a shape, okay? As an example, I'm going to deselect just so we can actually see this happen. I'm going to click on this shape. You'll see that all the anchor points are actually hollow. There's, uh, they're empty. And that's because none are selected. Keep in mind, if all of yours were selected by chance, let's say I did this, you'll see that they're all gone filled in, uh, in this case blue, because that's the color of the layer, and they would all move. So a selected anchor point is indicated in blue, and a deselected anchor point is indicated in white in the middle. So with the direct selection tool, we can select anchor points. But beyond that, I can actually click and hold on anchor points and adjust them. I can move them around. So with the pen tool, I can add, subtract, cur uh, uh, convert, and with the direct selection tool, I can actually move and select multiple. Now, to select multiple anchor points to move, with the direct selection tool, you can click on one, and then holding shift will allow you to select multiple anchor points, and I can move them together in this case if I wanted to. You can also, with the direct selection tool, just create a selection box, and that's by clicking and dragging, and anything within that box, any anchor points, uh, will get selected. Now, the other item with the direct selection tool is modifying a curve. Now, we can't actually make a curve with this tool unless we use this control panel at the top. So I'm going to switch back to my pen tool, hold all, create a curve, and let's say I now wanted to adjust that curve. Well, the pen tool can't do it. I could remove the curve and then make it again, but if I get my direct selection tool, well, I can use these handles and I can actually modify that curve. I could grow it out this way, grow it down this way, whatever I, adjustment I'd want to make can be done with this tool. I can move the anchor point, curved anchor point, anywhere you'd like. So this direct selection tool is how you would modify existing anchor points that you have within a shape or within a drawing. The pen tool is how you'd add, remove, or convert anchor points uh, within a shape. So using them together, using conjunction of the two tools, you can really handle just about any modification that you'd need to do to any of your shapes that you've drawn in Illustrator.